I think that's the only bad thing that happened in this video. The rest should be fun. Hi, welcome to Keepsakes. This is Jay and I'm currently traversing Lurieta Makati for another event. This time, uh, this event is something that, that the organizer wants me to partner with as with other events that they are handling. Welcome to Otaku Connection Episode 5 which is entitled Return of the Kings. This is a two-day event uh, which was held at the Gloria Tactical Center, the Palm Drive side, the other side of the Gloria Tactical Center in Makati City. And there's a lot of activities in store, of course, the typical uh, Otaku Connection way. There's evaluators, there's activities, there's boots. And as far as I can see here, there's a lot of people who still went to this event regardless if there was another event at another location so uh, for this one I'll be sharing um, most of my footage that I got and uh, these footages are uh, taken using my camera which is uh, originally taken around 4x3 and I'll just convert it to 16x9 for posterity now uh, they, they, I've seen a lot of my friends here at the area and uh, I'm also going to share some of their stories if possible. Uh, this is an unedited, unfiltered uh, 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 commentary perhaps on things. Now you can see here there's a lot of uh, toys on display from Nendroids. This one is uh, from the group, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Ampex. And yes, this is another set of, of Nendroids. These are legacy Nendroids, if I'm not mistaken. Look at those Lucky Star ones and look at these K-On ones. These K-On ones, very good. Um, I've taken interest in uh, uh, toy photography after tinkering with the camera and looking at these displays. Oh, there's a, a Madoka thing there. There's Madoka. And these figures, so good. <laughs> Now, um, yeah, there's this also the, this boot, the, and of course, there's also the Gunpla boot in which I uh, had uh, played with Gunpla, and I have another, I, I have that video on my Facebook page. It will be uploaded on YouTube also. Now, uh, there are uh, aside from exhibits, there are lots of activities. This one is artifacts. That uh, one is Wise Wars. And look at this uh, cool guy right here in a few. Okay, that's that's cool guy. That's a cool guy holding a precious card. And this is the play two of Wise Swar so far. But and oh yeah, that one, that one is a warrior, a Yakai warrior, singing to the tunes. And of course, um, I, I call the, the day one uh, idol day because uh, they have lots of idol stuff in stores. And like, like this one, like this one. She, she, she's part of Team Okegako, and I, I just uh, forgot her name. She's singing Love Live, uh, and she's stunning. Boom, you saw that. She's Oh, yeah, speaking of warriors. We now have two. Actually, the other one was somewhere along outside of the venue. Now, this one is Alice Project. Those are my uh, two of my friends, uh, Kate, and this here is Reina, or should I say, Rey Makamori? Uh, I just call her Rey. You see, Garasuna Hanazono, the Nozo Eli song from Love Life.
for coming. So, any other message that you'd like? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, I'd like also to plug our page because Alice Project is actually a collab group. So we are from different home groups as well. So we have like groups from Aquarius, we have groups from Sunrise PH, me and Ruby are from Sunrise PH, and other groups. Nea has multiple groups. Dreamcatcher! <laughs> so they're not only one group, they're like so many families. It's a collaboration of yeah, so many Here's the other group that I was talking about. They're called Kireningyo and they're dancing to the tune of Perfume. Hey, Perfume's uh, fans. such as this one. This one is Sifra and apparently they're also uh, healing from passing. My hometown, my homies. And yes, uh, proceeding with the day two. Uh, aside from Sifra, there's also another karaoke contest. And this one, I, I you know your darling in the Franks said uh, this was the first uh, one that sang that. And uh, of course, we get back to Umi, right? Yeah, yeah, it's still Umi, it's still Umi. Still doing Love Dive. Still awesome. Yeah, so, yeah, and... This is her second time performing at the same stage uh, on the uh, whole duration of the event. And This one is Hino. Seeing Hino up close, um, who won the uh, anime, J pop anime singing contest and was able to visit Japan and have her own itinerary there, uh, Hino is a really great singer. And yeah, she, this, and for this one, she's doing a cover of Eternal Blaze, Nana Mizuki. This one here is uh, part of the cover uh, Dual Hearts, Dual Hearts Karaoke Contest. And they're singing a piano rendition of the insert song that was played in Kyoke no Kanata. You know, you know the Idol episode where they tried to eliminate a monster being uh, through the power of love and music. And won't spoil it, won't spoil it. <laughs> and 
And of course, uh, a convention, an event, won't be something, won't be complete without cosplay. They had a cosplay competition for two days and this one, the, the first three that I will show you, that was the first one earlier. Yeah, the, um, I mixed these two footages. This one's from day two. And this was from day one. You'll, see, you'll be seeing that same guy later on, donning a different costume because, you know, you can go compete for the second day too if you have competed for day one. This one here, of course, never, never ending. Walang kupas, guy sings on. This was the costume that, that, that was costume that he did at uh, Cage, I believe. This one here, I believe she's part of Creative Voices. This one here is Comandante. You can hear some uh, Vita sounds. Of course, um, sabers, sabers, sabers. There will be a lot of sabers in this video. That's saber number two. They like, oh, they all like swinging Excaliburs. Oh, this one is good. This is Monkey King. Look. She will spin that baton. She will spin that stick. And one, two, three, four. Oh, here's another saber. Oh, there's one. Oh. Here's, here's another one. I think this is from Mobile Legends. No? Yes? And this one is from Kingdom Hearts. They they say it's Rojas, but I, I don't see face. And the never-ending Umarizord. Umarizord is there. Again. No! Umarizord, please! No! Umarizord, no! The famous rather war machine. I like that guy with friends, but you know, how many times you have competed in events with that costume? I don't know. Oh, this one's yes, friend. Wait, you now use duckies as weapons? Cringe. At ano may isang tanagin kita niya. I don't know, it's, uh, but yeah, it's still part of the character. And look, I can distinctly listen to him. Oh yeah, this one, uh, the special effects, the sound effects are provided by the kid. The last uh, video that I will show you for now is Hiro in Gilgamesh and this is part of the Grand Order segment at the, the end of day 2 and you'll be seeing more of these um, I've compiled a lot of footage from that segment unedited uh, just cropped unfiltered rather uh, and it will be released on a separate video on YouTube so I'm advising everyone to go ahead and watch the video as soon as it gets uploaded yeah the, the gate of Babylon all these songs that was a good segment that was a good segment in the part although it's it really stayed uh, it really happened uh, late na so yeah that's it for me the next event that I will be into is Pinoy Otaku Festival and uh, thank you to Otaku Connection for having us as their media partner. With that said, my name is Jay. This is Geeksakes signing off. <laughs>